This is a program I wrote uh, when I was learning C Sharp. It was the first program I wrote. And I ended up using it for my undergraduate thesis. I'm going to um, new. And what I'm doing here, here is I'm defining a cellular automata. And then um, I generate these uh, controls. I have these are user controls. And I dynamically generate them based on uh, how many cells they have in their cellular automata. And then up here, I'm defining a, um, a neural network that will simulate the cellular automata for these given rules. So I'm defining rules here. And it's generating the um, specifications for a neural network here. So this is showing how you can basically, for a specific set of uh, outer totalistic cellular automata, um, that you can actually generate equivalent um, neural networks that will pretty much uh, give you the same behavior, um, where in the cellular automata, cells are alive or dead, and um, in your neural network, the neurons are either active or inactive. So it's a computational kind of uh, conversion program. And that was what my thesis was on, was the equivalency of those and how to convert one system to another. And we're just using GDI plus um, to draw all these little rectangles in the on paint method. Since doing it uh, just about any other way using uh, .NET controls is pretty slow. I think I initially tried do, uh, doing like 64 by 64 little tiny panels and changing their back color, and that did not work at all. Um, and we also I serialized the um, the actually the rules for the neural network and what cells are selected. So if you define an, um, a cellular automata that you like the way it behaves, um, you can save it to a binary file and then load it up later. You can also right click and kill cells. This one's kind of an interesting one. Reminds me of how electrons might move along a circuit. You'll notice it pauses while I'm making selections on the cells automatically. And we can even go back and see the rules for this neural network that we, uh, or cellular automata that we just loaded up. So it looks pretty simple. I'm just including these cells here and um, I have some specific selections. Let's see what happens if we make a few more selections and see how much that affects. Um, let's clear that. Actually, the slowest part of this program is the console.write line because I'm writing a lot out to the console. There's a lot of threading going on in this program. So we can be processing the neural network in the background and uh, displaying it in a separate thread so that we don't uh, tie up our GUI. Oh, 
just do a few more here. Some of them have a very kind of microbial look to them, which is what makes uh, cellular automata pretty interesting. So you have fairly a fairly simple system, and you get some kind of complex results sometimes. This is one that just keeps on growing and growing and growing very slowly. I thought it was kind of neat when I found it because it um, it's very much like a fungus or something growing. Most of these I just found from playing around. This one is neat. Um, we can do single steps here. Boop, there's a little smiley face. And I think if you do every four steps, um, that's something neat here is you can have it jump. So um, you can actually process the neural network a lot faster than it can be displayed with GDI+. Plus. So if you want to really step through your network, you can use this little tool, do multiple steps at once. So if you wanted to see if your um, if your cellular automata eventually came to a stable state, this would be a good way to do it. Although of course there are people who have written algorithms that uh, will analyze cellular automata for you and determine when it arrives at a stable state. This one's kind of interesting because it kind of forms these very chaotic squares. And like a lot of the other cellular automata that are a lot more chaotic, this one has kind of some structure to it. You can see I added a little blob on it, and it's going to expand out and make corners here real slowly. So you can see now, and it's not going to go any anywhere beyond these points right here. It's going to stay. Now this guy right here is going to kind of probably travel down gradually. Do a big step. You can see this guy is not doing much at all. Add a little activity to him. Oop. So he's small enough that he uh, he stabilizes pretty quickly. That's pretty much it. Thank you.